Hey friends, Jumbo, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about my F1 visa interview experience, USA. So as some of you know from my past video, I went for my visa interview totally unprepared because my visa interview date got rescheduled to sooner than I expected. I'm gonna talk about that more later on in the video. So I did my interview in 2017. That was a long time ago. I'm sure a lot has changed because we have a lot going on around the world right now. We have the pandemic we just have so much going on but one thing i know for sure is that the questions are still the same or just variations of the questions we already know first of all i got to the embassy five minutes late my interview was scheduled to start at 9 30 but i got there at like 9 35 because my mom and i didn't have a car so we took public transport and we woke up really early on that day but we still had to make my savings payment and we had to wait for the banks to open at eight so that kind of delayed us and we got there late but the good thing was we had a line even outside the gate so i guess they just assumed we were already there we were just waiting in line i am however not encouraging anybody to show up for their visa interview late because you're not always gonna be lucky so i would encourage you to show up even half an hour early if you can just to be safe at the gate i gave them my documents i gave them my passport my i-20 and i remember paying for something i think it was the visa application fee i'm not exactly sure but i paid for something at the gate and then i went inside and i went by myself my mom stayed outside i was really nervous at this time because i was unprepared for the interview the reason being initially my interview date was scheduled for December 27th and I was supposed to start school in January 11th. So that would not give me enough time to get myself ready. And just in case my visa interview got rejected, I would not have enough time to do another interview, wait for them to mail my visa and then book a plane ticket. So we had to file a petition. So we filed a petition on December 6th and they accepted the petition on december 7th and they told me my interview was supposed to be on december 8th so initially i thought i had three weeks to get myself ready get my life together but now i just had less than 24 hours i had to make all these last minute payments i had to prepare myself for the questions i had to make sure that i had all the relevant documents i ended up not having enough time to prepare for the questions I got into the embassy and as I said, I left my mom outside and we had another long line, but at least they had benches. So we sat as we waited in line and I was watching people coming out and it was easy to tell who got accepted and who got rejected because of people's facial expressions. My, like, I was really, really nervous. I had this question that was bugging me. Why did you choose that specific university? I tried doing research on how to answer that question and I couldn't find any answer that was good enough. So I was just there praying and hoping that they would not ask me this question and they actually asked me this question. We'll get to that in a moment. I finally went into the building because all this time we were still outside. So in the building we had the immigration officers standing behind counters and they were separated from us by glass and we had this officer that was directing each one of us who to go to which immigration officer to go to we had two immigration officers one was a guy one was a lady so i noticed most of the people who got interviewed by the guy got rejected and most people who got interviewed by the lady got accepted so i was praying so hard to be interviewed by the lady and i was lucky i got interviewed by the lady I went there, I said good morning to her, gave her my documents, and then she started asking me questions. And guess what the first question was? Why did you choose that specific university? I literally had to come up with something on the spot. I told her that I have a friend of mine who moved from Kenya to the US in 2015. That was true. However, the untrue part was I told her I asked this friend of mine for recommendations of universities in the US and she recommended this particular university. I went ahead and checked it out. They have really good business programs and I am planning on majoring in finance, which is good for me. And she bought it. 
she bought it all this time i was very confident i was maintaining eye contact i had an upright posture well i just guess god was on my side on that day the next question she asked me was who my sponsor is i told her it's gonna be my dad and she asked me what my dad does for a living i told her my dad is an entrepreneur she asked me what type of business he has and i explained it to her and then she went ahead and asked me how many employees my dad has i had no idea how many employees my dad has again i had to come up with something on the spot yep i just told her nine and again she bought it she also asked me what i was planning on majoring in and i told her my major was gonna be finance and then she went ahead and asked me what i was planning on doing with my degree in finance after graduating i told her my plan was to come back to kenya my home country start my own businesses and use the knowledge and skills that i would have gained with my degree in finance to run my businesses and create employment opportunities for people in my community i think those are all the questions she asked me and she told me your visa has been approved i was so excited but i didn't show it i was just like thank you so much i was really really happy so she gave me back my documents and then she directed me to the next um counter where I just went ahead and gave them my documents, my passport, my I-20. Then they told me to wait for two weeks to receive my visa in the mail. My advice for anyone who's preparing for their interview, remember to prepare for the questions. Don't go unprepared like myself. Maintain eye contact. Be confident. Be very confident. Maintain an upright posture. Dress appropriately. You don't have to be official, you don't have to wear a suit, just be casual. I remember I wore jeans and a blouse for my interview, so just be casual and modest. And yeah, just if you believe in God, pray and have faith, it's gonna work out the way it's supposed to work out. People say don't lie in the interview, but sometimes things happen and you know you gotta do what you gotta do so if you get to that point and they ask you a question and you feel like you weren't prepared for this question make something up on the spot and just remember to still be confident even if you are lying just lie with confidence like me but to avoid being in that situation prepare for the questions prepare for as many questions as you can and that's all i have for you guys in this video if you liked it if you enjoyed it don't forget to give that thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye